this time SSX Tricky is much more like a film score. We, we do have our discrete components of sound effects, music, and speech. SSX is an arcade style racing game. So the audio reflects arcade sensibilities, uh, styles, uh, influences. Uh, that's what SSX Tricky is doing. Now that's Funkomatic. We put a lot of effort into the character development this year. See, I am a freak when it comes to winning. See, I'm a freak when it comes to riding. Part of how we realized that goal is to work with some really great voice talent. Once we've gone through the entire script and isolated the select takes, We'll have an inventory samples that our uh, programmers can work with. You call that a handshake, you pansy chunk? Our script demanded about 800 lines of dialogue. They'll find you once you're snowmelt. Once the talent started to get warmed up to the character, they would provide us with some really great ad-libs. To the crowd, baby, to the crowd! No more Mr. Nice Guy, mama! You have to be careful that you're true to the character. You can't assume that uh, if the line's the most clear that it actually does justice to the character's personality. Wake up! you snooze, you lose. So we're always looking for the best take in terms of performance. Hey, hey you, until we start, this ain't nothing but a dream! The audio files will make their way to the animators and programmers where they'll have an opportunity to bring the character to life and to support the gameplay. The music is a very effective tool for creating impact and setting up the emotional context of the gameplay. But the sound effects play a role in how that works too. The, the sort of sound is broken up into several areas, including including your arcade sound effects and your over the top sound effects. There are some sounds that are very very realistic. Whereas if you do one a sort of a crazy spin, then you're liable to hear something that's that's altogether not part of this world as well. So in this case, snowboarding, uh, you know, one place we did start. Uh, was on the slopes with snowboarders and, and you know wireless mics and portable dats and so on. But you end up realizing that that's hardly the way to go. You know, it's a good start, but but actually it's all, especially the board sounds in SSX. Uh, the board sounds everything to do with how it's played back. So it's rare that the sound actually just gets played straight out as it was created. This tool here it's called Ice Pick, and what it allows us to do is attach sounds to to objects in, in the world. Supposing I wanted to, to make more of the ambiences, um, what I can do is actually select that object on the screen. I can attach a sphere that, that if, the, if the border is inside, then you, you're gonna start hearing things. I can change its size. I can change its shape, its orientation, as well as its position. I can attach any sound I want to be within that sphere. I can change the slope characteristics coming in and going out of it. Because it, it's all happening on the fly, you can't mix it because you're not exactly sure what might happen when. Getting the stuff into the game is, is, ends up being you know, a small part of it, but you know, having the ears and the sensitivity and the patience to continuously tune is, is I think, sort of what makes a difference, really.